It's Katie Kate on the homestead. It's a breezy, warm morning here in the country. It's election day in America. Good luck again to all of you who are voting. This morning I have just been out and about trying to busy myself so that I don't end up glued to my screen all day watching this process unfold and just feeling a little bit anxious about the whole thing. I do have to run into town to pick up a case of beer. I am expecting Scott to stop by for a visit. He's taking some time off work because it's hunting season. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna drop by today. So I said goodbye to Nugget the other night. I was pretty sad about it. It's only when I overthink it that I really get down. So I really try not to go into those mental gymnastics and all the scenarios and think about what his experience is gonna be like. The next morning when I woke up, I had a skunk in the trap. And so I had to deal with that, that was yesterday. It kind of felt like a double whammy after getting rid of Nugget the night before, but it also felt like a gentle reminder from the universe that when it comes to these kinds of decisions, I've already made them before they happen and then I just have to follow through. And homesteading, I'm just not gonna be able to continue this back and forth, back and forth, every time a decision like this needs to be made. I have a plan, I know what I need to do, and then when the moment happens, I just need to do it. So I took that away from the experience. I did manage to get the skunk off my property without being sprayed. I didn't even let the chickens out of the coop yesterday because I knew I would be gone in the late afternoon and that I probably wouldn't be home till about sunset anyway. After having a skunk yesterday, I wasn't gonna take any chances with that. And also I thought it might just be good for them to chill out in there after the chaos of the night before. Fortunately this morning, everybody seems to be fine and I'm sure in a day or two, things will be completely forgotten. My trap count this year is pretty high. It's a lot higher than last year. So far this year, I have trapped five raccoons and six skunks. I've also trapped a rat, four mice, and a mole in the chicken coop. I'm really hoping that that'll be it for this year, but I suspect that's overly optimistic on my part. I was thinking about this yesterday when I was dealing with the animal. The benefit of all of this experience I've had this year is that this is now something that I know how to do. I know how to trap an animal and I know how to relocate an animal. Yesterday I was out in my overalls all geared up dealing with the situation and I was trying to imagine Katie Kate from five years ago having a glimpse of what I'm doing today just to keep some perspective. It's definitely a skill that I've learned. So I will be keeping that catch life trap set until well after the snow comes. As soon as I think that things will be waking up again, it'll be right back in place. I'll also be keeping the mice and rat traps set in the chicken coop. They're in a safe place. I'm thinking that I'm going to build a bit of a better box around the one area, but as it stands, it's working perfectly fine. Well, that's my trap count for this year on the homestead. It's a lot. The way I see it, that's 11 coop attacks that I prevented 
having defensive measures in place. Any animal approaching that coop looking for a meal is going to get distracted by those marshmallows and end up in my trap. So 11 saves. Okay guys, well that's it for now. I'm going to head down into town. I couldn't get beer yesterday because the beer store in the town I was in was closed. So I'm going to run down so that I'm ready for my visit with Scotty this afternoon. I'm sure it'll be a really good distraction to keep my mind off of the election. The reality is we're probably not even going to have the results today. And I really miss the old days with paper ballots when we could be all excited on election day, knowing that by the end of the night, we're gonna find out who the next president or prime minister is gonna be. I do hope that you are all doing well and staying safe and staying grounded. Again, good luck today. My heart, my thoughts are with you. Fingers crossed. I'm Katie Kate on the homestead and I'll see you later.